you get so many times people are like, oh, how dare you accuse me of being a bad person? I'm a good person. I'm I've got a good family and I give to charity and all this. And it's uh, I think the confusion comes from when a Christian has sort of put forward the moral argument in some way. Maybe they didn't explain it very well, or maybe it's been misunderstood or mistaken. But what the moral argument says is that morality cannot exist if God does not exist. It doesn't say anything about whether you believe in God. So basically, if God exists, there can be a moral system, an objective moral system, which means everyone can be good or bad or right or wrong or nice or evil. That includes believers, that includes non-believers, that includes atheists, that includes Hindus and everybody. But if God does not exist, then there can be no objective moral system. There can only be a subjective relative one that is ultimately meaningless. Which would then mean if God doesn't exist, so even Christians, Muslims, Hindus, atheists, all the same, no one can be a truly good person. All we can do is act on the morality that's been chosen by society or evolved or whatever you want to put it. It's not a case of belief in God makes you a good person. It's a case of if God exists, then anyone can be good or evil. And if God does not exist, then no one can be good or evil. Because I say God exists, that means I believe atheists are very capable of being good people.